Does the great state of Tennessee tax retirees? You might be surprised. Welcome again to the Heritage Wealth Planning YouTube channel, my friends, the place you come to understand how states tax their retirees. And we talk about everything else on financial planning. Heritage, we talk about estate planning, retirement planning, social security maximization, income tax reduction, you name it, we talk about it here. So Tennessee is one of my favorite states in the union. I love Tennessee. When I was in the army, a good friend of mine in my platoon was from Johnson City. And I'll never forget when he got married and we went down there, oh, in Eastern Tennessee. Oh my goodness, that whole corridor of Southwest Virginia to Eastern Tennessee. It's God's country, no other way around that. So Tennessee, not about I guess Chattanooga is about an hour down, I guess about an hour north of where I'm at here. And Chattanooga is just a wonderful town too. So Tennessee is near and dear to my heart. I love it for sure. But a lot of people, they hear Tennessee has no state income tax and they assume it's the one of the most tax friendly states in the union. Well, let's dive into that and find out. I'm not saying it's not, don't get me wrong, but let's find out because Kiplinger starts us off with Tennessee being a light green, which is tax friendly. But where I'm at here in Georgia, Georgia is a dark green, which is most tax friendly. Interesting, is it not? So let's find out why Kiplinger says Georgia is more tax favorable, even though Georgia has a state income tax. So now a couple of times I have seen Kiplinger's a little bit off point. Uh, so we'll just kind of, you know, read what they say, sum it with a grain of salt, and we'll look at the other two websites we use. But uh, the volunteer state has no broad-based income tax, though the state does tax uh, have a levy on dividends and interest income from stocks and bonds. But that tax is being phased out will be gone by 2021. However, be prepared to fork over some substantial sales taxes in Tennessee. It has the highest com combined sales tax rate in the nation at an average of 9.46. Wow. Uh, there are some property tax relief for seniors, and as of 2017, it no longer imposes an inheritance or a state tax. That's good. Sales uh, tax, 7% is a state levy, and localities can average can add up another 2.75 on average, uh, where they get the combined rate of roughly 9.5%. Groceries are taxed at 4%, plus whatever local rate is in effect. Local taxes are limited, though. Only the first $1,600 of any item is taxable. I don't know if that's specific to groceries. Uh, so we'll have to dive into that a little bit more. No income tax, uh, Social Security, IRA, pension distributions, wages not taxed, which is wonderful. Does have the hall tax, which taxes dividends and some interest at 4%. Uh, that's not cheap. Dividends and interest at 4% in 2017. The first $1,250 in taxable income uh, for individuals or $2,500 for joint filers is exempt. And then again, it'll be phased out by 2021. Social Security benefits, of course, are not taxed. And we talked about the uh, taxpayers older than 65 with an annual income of 68000 or less joint are exempt from the tax on dividends and interest. That's good. Uh, now, if you have all nothing but retirement income, Social Security retirement income in Tennessee, you're in a good place. No other way around that. Uh, the median property, I know this for a fact, property taxes in Tennessee are very low. The median home value here is 143 roughly. The median property tax is 1000 bucks. So you're talking about that 0. 0.7, so that's very, very low. And then it looks like they have somewhat of a homestead exemption for seniors. Well, no, they do not have a homestead exemption for seniors. However, there's a property tax relief to reimburse income eligible seniors uh, and disabled veterans uh, for tax paid on the primary residence. For the tax year 2017, uh, property tax relief applies to the first 27000 in market value. And the combined income for all eligible owners is twenty nine thousand. Like so, uh, qualified disabled veterans or widows may receive property tax relief on the first hundred seventy five thousand property tax value. So that's uh, that's good or market value. Uh, there's also a property tax freeze available for homeowners sixty five and older. And that's good. Seniors' income must not exceed income limits of their county to qualify. So I guess you got to look at what county you're in to see if you qualify. There's a sales tax due on vehicle purchases, and as of uh, 2016, there's no more an estate tax or an inheritance tax. So wonderful there. All right, so let's see what tax foundation to see. Again, the, uh, the the state and local tax burden on income is low, ranked in the 47. So in the basically in the the top three in terms of most favorable for sure. Tax Freedom Day is April 7th, which is the second highest in the country, and that's good. Both want these things to be low up here and want this thing to be high up here, and they both are. So very, very good for Tennessee. 
sales tax is the second highest ranking sales tax in the union. So that's uh, uh, that's painful for sure. Uh, they don't tax smokes very heavily and you know, moderately favorable on taxation of gas. Property taxes, yeah, 0.75. So property taxes are across the board just low. So you're getting low income to no income tax, I should say. Very, very low property tax is a sales tax that gets you for sure. Um, but uh, it's still pretty favorable. There's no get around that. And because I'm not going to go to smartasset.com, we know Tennessee is very favorable tax wise. So if you want low property taxes, no income tax, you can't find a better state. If you want uh, low sales tax, you're in the wrong place. That's all there is to it. So I would presume if someone lives in Chattanooga, they probably go down right to uh, what's it called, Ringgold, right north uh, Georgia to get a lot of their property, their goods uh, tax free, and they go right back up to Tennessee. Same way people in Maine go to New Hampshire or Massachusetts go to New Hampshire without sales tax. I imagine the same thing here. But, you know, they got to get some way. So if you're in this middle of the state, Nashville, you're going to pay their sales tax. Don't get around that. But you can't beat Tennessee. I mean, it's just this wonderful state, um, beautiful as can be, and you're friendly people and, uh, and low taxes, too. You just can't beat it in low cost of living. So all in all, a wonderful place to, to retire in Tennessee. No getting around that. If you like the content here, uh, don't forget to subscribe down below, my friends. As always, comments are always welcome for sure. Boots on the ground. Always beat my assessment just from where I'm sitting here in North Fulton County, Georgia. Uh, thumbs up, always welcome. So thumbs up. And if you do subscribe, hit that little bell down there to be notified of future content. Lastly, feel free to go to the blog, heritagewealthplanning.com, heritagewealthplanning.com. And we'll see you next time on the Heritage Wealth Planning YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.